Bill from Iron Will, and this is our blade alignment procedure. On a broadhead, especially a fixed blade broadhead, it's important that the point of the broadhead stay on the axis of the arrow as it rotates and flies. This will give you the best flight. If that tip is off to one side or another, it will create pressure differences which will want to push your arrow off course. If you take a T6 Torx driver and loosen the screw, you'll see that there's some side-to-side -side movement of the blade. This is by design so that we can align the point of the broadhead exactly to the axis of the ferrule and take out any tolerances. So if you're replacing blades, you're gonna to want to make sure the blade is aligned to the ferrule. In order to do that, you're gonna need a piece of paper, a ruler, a pen or pencil, and an arrow spinner. Take the ruler and the pen or pencil and draw a straight thin line on the paper. Now put the broadhead on an arrow, put it on the arrow spinner, and locate the broadhead directly above that thin line. Now looking downward with the point of the broadhead directly on the line, as I rotate the arrow back and forth 180 degrees, you can see that the point of the broadhead blade is going on and off of the line. I now move the blade too far to the other direction, and you can see that as I rotate back and forth 180 degrees, that the point is now going off in the other direction. Now I move the broadhead blade to center. As I rotate back and forth 180 degrees, you can see that the point of the blade now stays perfectly on this line. It is now properly centered, and you can tighten the screw to fix the blade in the proper position. When you tighten the screw, make sure the blade is seated back into the ferrule. This holds the bleeder blade tightly in place. Once you've tightened the screw, do one more check of the broadhead, rotating it back and forth, looking downward at the straight line to make sure you didn't move the blade as you tighten the screw. Now that your broadhead blade is properly aligned and the point stays on center as the arrow rotates, this will give you the best long range flight in your arrow setup.